Hi, my name's Andy Rourke and I'm the designer of Coalitions. Continuing with my series of videos looking at strategies for playing the different nations, I now want to look at Prussia, who is the power that is probably the most underestimated of the powers. When playing Prussia, one of the most important things to do is to garrison the disputed areas that are close to you as soon as you can. Um, in the 1805 scenario, it starts with Warsaw garrisoned, but if it's not garrisoned in the scenario you're playing, make sure you move an army in as soon as possible uh, to garrison Warsaw. Saxony, uh, again, you need to get that garrisoned as soon as you can, and an army into Hanover if possible. Um, and garrison Hanover. If you can achieve those three areas, uh, these three territories garrisoned, um, this is going to give you a total of five influence um, every turn. So this, this will put you in a very strong position to start gaining influence. And influence uh, is the score uh, that goes th th through the seas here, and this is the victory points. So you really need to uh, build on your influence. Um, one of the ways that you can uh, achieve this is to try and delay France. France has got to decide if it's going to go towards Austria or if it's going to go towards Prussia. And really, Prussia can use diplomacy to try and prevent the, the French from invading. Um, the French start closer to Austria. It's easier for them to invade Austria than it is Prussia. So there's a little bit of a breathing room, a little bit of time. Um, and Prussia can use its... its its appearance of weakness, it does appear to be perhaps the weakest power on the board, you can use that weakness um, to negotiate because um, uh, you're not a threat. So uh, try, and, try and slow down the French from, from attacking you and use diplomacy. Um, once the French have committed, if they're fighting in Austria or if they've taken uh, forces off to Spain, um, if they're not strong in the north here, it really pays Prussia to, to concentrate at least two armies. Um, obviously, you want to keep your armies up to full strength. Try and keep three tokens under them as, as often as you can. Um, this is difficult with Prussia. It only has quite a low income. And it's really going to depend on um, subsidies, perhaps, from Britain to be able to fund these armies. So to do that, you need to be in the British coalition to get the subsidies, but you also need to perhaps consider being in the French coalition to stop them attacking you. So it's a really fine line the Prussian player has to play with diplomacy on whose side to be on and when. But uh, if the French have, have moved towards Austria, uh, concentrating in the north allows you to gain quite a bit. There's another two influence available in Westphalia, but also you can move forward into the Low Countries and start to, to threaten Paris. Um, so this is, this is the best route, the northerly route for Prussia, but you've got to time it well. Don't go too early when there's too much strength. You know, if the French have got all their seven armies on the board, which they should have, um, if there's too much uh, French strength and you try to attack, uh, you can come unstuck. If you are going on this northerly route, perhaps try and persuade the British to join you. They can bring an army across from London. Two armies from different nations can share the same territory. You just can't have two armies from the same nation in the same territory. So you could have a British and a Prussian army that are in coalition um, in the same territory and mutually supporting each other. Um, so that's a very strong alliance um, when you feel the time, time is right. Um, one of uh, Prussia's natural allies, potentially, for board position could also be the Ottomans. The Ottomans are on the opposite side of the board, they're a long way away. It's unlikely that the Ottomans are gonna reach Prussia or Prussia are gonna reach uh, the Turkish territories. And so you can use this in your diplomacy um, because neither of you need to particularly worry about what the other one's doing. Um, so you can choose each other to, uh, as an, uh, an activator or allower. To, uh, to, to make moves, giving you more movements and perhaps gaining morale. So always think about keeping a good relationship going with, with the Ottomans. Um, and be careful, especially if you join a, a, a French coalition, be careful about fighting Russia and Austria simultaneously. 
you really don't want to have uh, both of these powers against you. So if they're perhaps in the, <clears throat> in the British coalition and uh, you're with the French, if the French don't give you support, you can find yourself very isolated very quickly. Um, so really I would say for, for, if you're playing Prussia, use its weakness as your strength. Um, you're gonna need to do a lot of diplomacy. You've gotta be on the right side at the right time. And when it does come time to attack, attack in the north. That is your best, your best route. And try, try to get to Paris. Uh, quite often Prussian armies can get to Paris and win the game. So that's something you should uh, aim to do as a Prussian. So if you have enjoyed this video, uh, please feel free to watch the other five in the series. And you can add any comments of your own into the uh, comment section below. Um, please subscribe to the channel and you can like my Facebook page at Formsquare Games. Thanks for watching.